This is a uh, the Model 4, a very small version. Uh, this video is just being sent for uh, the uh, creative signs to look at. Let's see if I can get you a good view. Uh, end piece, end piece, uh, magnet disc, magnet disc right here, and then the, the coil disc. Uh, I'm using a 12 volt DC motor and uh, an adapter so I can turn the the rod, you know, the rod right here, and over here I have a 12-volt uh, DC uh, battery, <clears throat> and here I have a multimeter. Right now it's set at uh, 10 volts uh, AC, and up here you can see the scale. Uh, every uh, this one's like at one volt. This is two. This is three right here, and this is four and onward. Um, I got the <coughs> using alligator, alligator clips to uh, connect things. <coughs> uh, this is the uh, I got the coils. You can see them kind of. They're connected in series, and uh, I've got this is the positive wire that's coming out of the coils right here and down here below I have a negative wire I'm using and uh, it's not a perfect design uh, let me phrase this my construction isn't perfect there are flaws I'm still learning but anyway uh, it's the first time I made one so there's my excuses uh, <clears throat> anyway I still have to I've got some flaws still I have to see how I can move this thing in here. I can move it left to right. I gotta mount it so it can't move at all. I don't want the uh, this coil disc moving closer to a magnet because it can start to rub. Now, but I want them close enough so that they get most the most uh, <clears throat> magnetism going to the coils. So anyway, I'm just gonna turn it to make sure that uh, nothing's rubbing. What I do is I hold my finger down here so it doesn't move and I put my foot over here to hold this board okay so anyway um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna anyway uh, I'm gonna grab this cord I have a negative cord here and uh, somehow or another I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, use two hands and somehow make this thing work so Bear with me. I'm going to show you some quick, the quick results. All right, here we go. Try to go again. I'm learning, so bear with. Me. The, uh, uh, the spacing over here between these things. So I can probably get around 3 volts if I position these correctly. And this is about the maximum I can get. Each magnet is about 8 pounds pull, pulling force. And this is 21 gauge wire. So it's not very strong magnets. But uh, there you go.